Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. As always, thank you, patrons, for your support. Couldn't do it without you guys over on Patreon. And as always, every video goes up on Patreon. Uh, it does, and we really appreciate all of your guys' support across the board. Absolutely. Exclusive videos multiple times a week. And do you remember this? This you know has been talked about before, and then it came up again recently. They say there's more water below the Earth than on the entirety of the Earth's uh, surface. In fact, maybe three times as much water inside the Earth as above on the surface. Well, that gets me thinking, because you know, I can't get the thought of mud flood out of my mind i really can't get the thought of mud flood lately it's been a lot of things that the guides have said over uh the years piecing them together in my mind and the guides had said that we would be facing a ww3 in 1.5 years back in december 2022 it looks like we're facing a WW3. There's been constant escalations going on. Uh, and in some ways, yeah, we are, you know, really at, at war right now on a big scale. And it's just a matter of feels of time before things escalate there. But when they've talked about certain things like people moving away from the coasts in massive numbers trying to escape what they said was the war and this flooding that was going to be happening along coastlines. And, you know, you think about this inner earth ocean, and we've seen a lot of unusual things like Into Thin Air has been covering that uh, anomaly that was showing up on Ventu Sky, and they've actually changed their whole model because of it. It caused such an uproar. Well, it, there was something there. And what it seems to be was something in our minds technological that was changing, interfering, doing something. Um, perhaps warming up the oceans. And, you know, again, now there's record warmth. So we, sh we are expecting record breaking hurricanes, perhaps even a new category or category six whatever that would be hurricane they've talked about revising all sorts of scales hurricanes uh, as well as tornadoes and everything seems to be going to record record levels what if you know there was technology that was able to be used to pull some of that water from below the surface to the surface and what if that's what really happens when we have these mud flood events? And to me, there is absolutely nothing new under the sun. I think that it's very plausible that this technology could be there. No problem at all. Um, I also feel that there are uh, ancient like spaceships that are used and they're used in ways that might not be conventional. Maybe they're used to warm up the ocean. You know, there's been so many videos that we have done that have pointed towards something that just does not make any sense in the reality that has been fed to us by the controllers. Yeah, so, you know, we wanted to just show a few things that are happening now. Here you have a uh, dam failure uh, kind of ongoing. You see there's pretty devastating looking flooding going on this is in Rapidan, minnesota uh, which is north of the iowa border complete uh, failure imminent flooded rivers eroded the ground around the dam uncontrolled as you can see um, this is a very scary situation <laughs> you see a house there yeah, we've seen this all over the world in these times. And we've had all sorts of record storms. I'm going to make sure that we... Let's see, how do we turn... turn. What happens is it's, it's always putting the sound on. 
once you do that. It'll come back and put the sound on later on when you move away. Um, it's not just there, and, and this is just devastating, by the way. I mean, this is scary, scary stuff to see. We've had it all around the world. We've had so many evacuations. So, obviously, a scary situation. We send our prayers to everybody over that way. And Iowa is what I was going to look at next, and it just sort of disappeared. It, there's been, like, somebody screwing with our computer all day, <laughs> Changing settings, you know, we, we get hacked all the time, but I think everybody gets hacked at some point because this is, again, the the systems technology that's used to basically surveil us all. This is Spencer, Iowa. Look how bad the flooding is there as well. Everywhere we look, you see these events going on. You know, there was a lot of strange earth movement. Now, this is Wyoming. And you have cracks that just popped up out of nowhere. That one's about two feet deep. But later on in this video, the guy shows this road. This whole road shifted five to six feet. He says, this is the road that we always take to come in here. But you could clearly see this has shifted five to six feet. Um, and yeah, I was expecting big quakes in April. But, you know, maybe it's been delayed uh, a few months. We'll see. Maybe it'll be even a few more months. It's, it's again, it does feel like the timeline shifted. Things are, things are changing. Uh, the control system's being exposed big time. And, you know, yet again, uh, there are different agendas that keep rolling forward. This, um, they're showing it as a 4.1. There's other sources showing this higher up the scale. As we know, the USGS tends to downgrade. Uh, watching different patterns going on, there was a lot more quakes up here in, in the Cascadian area um, that just probably came off the board. If we look at the last week, this is the last week. Um, been watching unusual patterns of quakes and other people are picking up on this too there's a lot of channels covering these things a lot of earth changes going on and people feel people having anxiety people having just changes in, inside of their systems because they know something is at hand things are not normal things are different so uh, you know what, what what do you do with this well you just you just stay as ready as you can and don't sit on it and just freak out that's not going to help anything and don't spend endless hours you know uh, focusing on it either that's not going to help either but having yourself ready and knowing in the back of your mind look i've done my best and finding that spiritual practice that's that's a big one that's a big one. That's what you turn to when all of your other plans are not going well or or maybe they didn't work out or maybe you forgot something or maybe you need something. That's when you turn and go within and, and ask for the elementals, guides, angels, ancestors in your life to help. And that's just a fact. You know, that's not to scare anyone at all in any way, shape or form. It's just something that i have seen happen so often it's completely undeniable so we can only prepare so much in this world but spiritual can go a lot lot further absolutely absolutely and and do what you can we were out picking some of our garden and we have more cucumbers than we could possibly pickle um yeah and the tomatoes and the peppers are coming in um but tomatoes i don't think you could ever have too many you just make jars of tomato sauce and use it for chili and everything down the line uh, as we had a uh, canner an old school canner um, but we also got an electric canner which is um, very very simple to use and so we'll use that and uh, if we run into power issues we could even build a fire with the old school one um, you know we're just doing what we can to get ourselves situated we got pears to go out and pick um, we have a lot of figs coming in, uh, and we're hoping that our pecan trees will, will bear fruit again. Uh, so 
you know, we're, we're taking the steps and doing what we can do. And that's, you know, all that anybody really can do. You know, we're not in typical times, you know, and here you have mud flood uh, flows ravage southern Switzerland, uh, one dead, two missing here. Y you know, you can see the, the mud flows are burying houses. And, and again, we go through these cycles that may be typically um, much shorter than most people think and, and even really perpetually ongoing feels like it's kind of a perpetual ongoing thing um, so it seems that there are multiple reports saying that Russia shut down uh, a million hundred million dollar drone a US drone over the Black Sea uh, maybe contemplating putting up a complete no-fly zone over the Black Sea as this is really starting to escalate be very very aware of that as well again look to the past to get an idea of what happens in a wartime world wartime scenario you had rationing expect rationing you had drafts conscription uh they've laid all the groundwork for that so that's coming to you know we we could tell what's coming yeah there will be shortages there will be inflation on all um basic goods and, and and you know food has gone through the roof i mean the food prices are just unbelievable uh right now so again whatever you can grow is going to be helpful for you or whatever you can barter and trade uh if you're not doing it and you have a service you have something uh, that you can barter and trade with so, you know again talk to neighbors friends get to know your local farmers get to know your local farmer farm market i think that is hugely important mm -hmm. i think that's probably one of the key things is know your local food sources um even if it's not a farmer's market you try to understand who's around you that are you know maybe maybe they raise some kind of meat maybe they do have a farm but they're not at the farmer's market i mean just understanding this and knowing your neighbors and and who's who and, and what's what and being understanding and, and friendly can really go a long way. This is kind of why we've chose this this area. Um, you know, we're not hunters and we we can fish, although we don't do it too well. Um, and we, we can, you know, drop a line into a really productive big fishing area just one mile down the road. Uh, and there are hunters that, you know, people come from everywhere to, to hunt in this area. Uh, and there is a deer processing plant that's down there when it's hunting season. You know, it's just, it's, it's kind of a mess, you know. <laughs> but it is a productive area. Um, and we know uh, sources for protein, sources for veggies, sources for everything that are not uh, stores. And so that is, I think, one of the keys. Uh, for these times are coming during the eruption of fuego in guatemala you have a storm beginning with epic lightning it struck directly into the mouth of the volcano the gods are angry <laughs> oh it's just an amazing system that we have going on as you know that's concentrated life force it's it's so powerful and there's so much energy there just think about it what if you just simply captured and stored all the energy from a lightning storm like that bet you i bet you a lot that if you were to slow this down and look at it really closely you would see airships up there getting um charged. magnetized charged yes i mean this is just really incredible absolutely absolutely these can be very very uncomfortable times and you know you might be singled out like you're the prepper look at that guy you know look, look at that gal what's she doing why are they planting fruit trees why are they doing all the crazy things that they did well well now who's the crazy one and we've had that conversation a lot lately with family members that you know have warned other family members you might not want to do that or you might want to get ready for this you know, it, it can be a little uncomfortable, uh, but at the same time, you know, those that are prepping and those that are still awakening, you know, more power to you. Okay, just, just because you brought that up, I have to bring up one more thing. One more thing. Okay, so how come you cannot hear a pterodactyl P? Why? <laughs> because the P is silent. 
Cute. Cute. Ah, uh, more jokes coming. <laughs> Do check out uh, the music as well. We've had such good feedback with people saying it's really shifted them into um, a positive space in these times. And there's a music list up on uh, Patreon and also on Heart's Home. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.